Are you still trying to make Google Sheets and Excel spreadsheets do the job of a database? I'm Karanda Dare, and I'm a certified automation service provider and the CEO of Carvel Digital. And today I want to share a case study with you where I helped someone who was trying to manage a huge complex project in Google Sheets, and I helped them move over to Airtable. And I'm going to show you what's possible and why you should consider ditching your spreadsheets for Airtable. All right, this project, this was a client of ours who was managing a huge project where the client had a number of different sites and classrooms and partners and volunteers, all these people and their spreadsheet when they shared it with me. It was one of those spreadsheets where you look and there's like a ton of data in one cell. There's all this data crammed into one cell. So even if you wanted to filter it, you couldn't, right? You can't really manipulate the data. You can't automate the data because there was it was totally misstructured inside the, the spreadsheet. And so when I looked at that, I just started, I literally took the spreadsheet and I put it on one side and I put Airtable up on the other side and I just started showing them like, hey, if you structure the data this way, here's what you would be able to do. You would be able to filter. You would be able to manage the data better. You would be able to create interfaces to show data that is important to you about this project. And so I want to take you through, I have a demo version with all of the personalized data removed. And I want to take you through um, and show you just a little bit. What I did was I, I interviewed them and I looked at the spreadsheet to understand the hierarchy of what they were managing. And so on top of everything was the sites, the actual places where these programs were taking place. So that was the first table that I constructed. And then all of the other tables were constructed around groups of things that needed to connect back to other information. And so you have sites, you had regional coordinators, and those coordinators were attached to certain sites. So you can see in this column here, it's literally a column that is linked back to the sites table and that way people can be or coordinators can be attached to multiple sites and then you can you can group them by what sites they're attached to you can filter them all that good stuff then you have the site coordinators the site coordinators are attached to the sites as well and the site coordinators are who they reach out to see who is going to participate in the next year so we have a participation year and I could see if you wanted to look at if you wanted to look at coordinators and how many years they had signed up to work with you, you could create an interface to show you that. Then at the next level, there's volunteers. With the volunteers, they need to manage how many people have they reached out to to be volunteers, who's accepted, which sites are they going to be connected to, which is here. So you can connect a volunteer to a site as well. And then the volunteers go into schools and give presentations. And so all of the things about the volunteer, all the things about the schools are in their own table and everything that they need to track. How, what grades does this school serve? How many classrooms does each school have to work with? How many partners are going to be attached to this school? And then there's some kind of task management, project management fields where they can track Hey, have they identified this partner? Has this partner confirmed that they're going to be working together for the next year? All those kinds of things. And then the rest of these, the interactions and notes, this is a very simple CRM where they're able to track conversations that they're having as they're reaching out to all these people. They're reaching out to the volunteers, the site coordinators, and they're able to track those conversations. And, and so if multiple people are working on the project, they can come in here and know, okay, here's the last action that we had with people. And this field here is actually a roll-up field that will roll up multiple conversations with the same person. So you could create a view. If I was going to enhance this, I would create an interface where you could say, hey, show me all the interactions I've had with this person or this school or this site coordinator. And you could be able to look at that in an interface and track that whole conversation. And then if they need to manage tasks, then for instance, following up with a certain person or making sure site coordinators or volunteers have their supplies, I gave them a task tracking table here. And so all of these things are connected. No longer is it all just dumped into one flat spreadsheet. Now it's in a relational database where they can manage it better. And your spreadsheets could never 
(laughs) your spreadsheets could never. And then one thing that I would, if I was going to go back and enhance this, I would actually create, if we look at the classrooms, one thing with their tracking is in these classrooms, they have the estimated number of students, and then they need the volunteers to come back and report on the actual number of students. So the confirmed number of students. In order to be able to do that without giving everyone access to the database, this is where I would pair this with something like fill out and use that to give people a way to update the existing records. So I've created a demo of that here where if you click on, you could create a shared view of this that was public with just the limited information and the button to confirm the number of actual students. And that would open a form that is an update form. So it's automatically filling in all the data, the partner, the teacher, the classroom. And all they have to do is say, hey, we had uh, 37 confirmed students and write any notes that they have and hit submit. And then that individual record is then updated in the database. So there it is right there. So that's just a quick demo of one use case where we took an Excel spreadsheet, made it into an Airtable base that really saved the client so much time and allowed them to manage the the project so much better. I'm curious, what are you managing in your Excel spreadsheets? And let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you're doing with your Google Sheet, and I will tell you how it can be better in Airtable. All right. Thanks for listening. If you have a project, if you have a spreadsheet, and you're like, ooh, I would love this, for this to be an Airtable, hit up the link below. You can tell us what your task is. We can let you know how much it would be for us to actually just take that off your plate, give you a nice Airtable base that you can run within your business and manage your projects better. All right. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click all the subscribe and the likes and the what to do. All right. See you next time.